Hello everyone. So, I just wanted to have a quick talk about how, what I kind of, just a really broad kind of subject for me to just kind of ramble on, that's my favorite thing to say, about how astrology, how what I've learned from astrology and what I'm dealing with lately with the people around me, and how I'm seeing, you know, different aspects about how, you know, someone's birth chart actually relates. So I'm kind of trying to get people to start looking at people around them, you know, asking them questions, get out and about. I find too many astrologers are too book, like they, they, they focus too much on the book and then they memorize. It's like, you know, what you did, like what people did in school. They just memorize what is written down and then say, oh, is this you? Instead of kind of what you have to do, in my opinion, and what I do, maybe because I'm a Gemini moon and because I'm an heir, but I look at a million different books. And, and then I'm able to kind of synthesize all that information and kind of put it out there and let everyone know, like, just a better version of what a certain placement is. Right now, a lot of people are looking at the moon signs and how, your, like, your personality relates to that. People are saying that your moon sign is your personality, and I love that because it's more accurate than just saying, oh, what's your moon sign? It's your emotions. And then there's this whole thing about what is the sun sign? Is the sun sign exactly who you are? Does that mean it's your personality? No, I would say no, definitely not. And this is a, this is a huge reason why a lot of people, I don't know why sun signs are so important. Because if people are going to keep focusing on just the basic sun sign astrology in books, there's going to be a huge problem, like there, there has been a huge problem in, as to why people don't believe in astrology. Because I could go around, and if I didn't know about a birth chart, I could say I'm a Capricorn, and I could meet a Capricorn, and I met many Capricorns that are definitely not like me. You know, how I present myself, which could be, you know, a mixture of my moon and rising sign, you know, going out there. The thing is, is it's oversimplified about, you know, maybe mentioning about moon signs. If I... I'm expressing my moon sign, it's not always going to be at home. It's not always going to be my core and my inward personality. My moon sign is definitely visible. Everyone's moon sign is very visible to everyone around them. If I'm not feeling comfortable, no, I won't show my moon sign. But I could feel comfortable out in public one day. I could feel comfortable at my home one day. It just has to do with what I'm feeling. Maybe Gemini moons don't really their moods just don't really relate day to day. I could feel comfortable somewhere. I could feel comfortable somewhere else. But I know other people with different moon signs just feel comfortable in different situations depending on what's going on or just depending on their emotions. So the moon signs, you know, you ha you can't be you can't exactly be logical and simple when talking about someone's emotions. And the moon does directly relate to emotions, but the emotions are affected by our mental state. And I think that's the core of the moon. So I've noticed people, a lot of people around me, I have a few Cancer moons, Gemini moons, um, Leo moons, quite a lot of Leo moons. Those, those are quite common in my life right now. I know quite a few Libra moons. Um, and, you know, you start to kind of pick up on what these mean in someone's life. And I find it fascinating because the, the, the few Cancer Moons I know, I like Cancer Moons. There's, because I feel like your moon sign kind of sets the mood. It kind of just puts out there to people what you're allowed to do and say. It's kind of like you're this energy field around you. Whereas me, I make sure that people are comfortable enough to open up. I think every moon sign in everyone's mind is what they think will make other people comfortable. It's your nurturing side. So what you're, if you want other few people to feel comfortable, you're going to put out that moon sign energy of yours. If someone doesn't relate to that moon sign, they may not see that you're trying to make them feel comfortable. In my opinion, though, the moon and cancer and the people I know with moon and cancer are more generally like, likely to make sure that everyone feels emotionally comfortable and just be, uh, be able to express themselves emotionally. And what I find from a lot of Cancer Moons is they don't understand when other people don't understand. You know what I mean? Like, kind of like me. I don't, I don't understand when other people don't understand why it's difficult to be logical, to kind of talk things out in 
an eloquent manner, kind of specifying every detail and kind of taking all that m mental, emotional energy and speaking it out into the world, whether it's writing, taught speaking, uh, typing, things like that. Um, so, and another thing, so that, that's generally the moon signs. So I've, I've had to experience this. Maybe it's just difficult for people to get this experience in real life, experiencing other people around you and then expressing it because there's a, to me, because I think I see the details, it's just difficult for me to deal with how the astrology community is it, there's no cohesiveness. It's just kind of splattered everywhere. It's good that everyone's doing their own thing. But I think there's a, just a, a, there needs to be a bit of tweaking. People need to be conversing with each other. And this might be my needs because I want people to do that. But people just need to be conversing with each other, kind of really analyzing in the right way. If you're, I think if you're going to be an astrologer, you have to be able to analyze this or at least intuit, intuit it, like understand it, be, kind of have an intuitive sense and then speak it out. And if you can't speak it out, just don't talk. Maybe that's my Capricorn talking, but I'm just saying because astrology is such a passion of mine, I think people need to be more conscious of how we relate to it and how we teach other people because I don't want the wrong thing getting out there and then snowballing. So the wrong idea of astrology and there's so much out there. And right now we're at a pivotal moment where everyone's looking at moon signs. So many people on YouTube right now are posting videos about moon signs. Like I just did a few other, you know, common people, people, uh, well-known astrologers did post videos on moon signs. And, uh, and then, you know, there's Mars and Venus, which is different, but basically we should, right now, I think we should be perfecting what the differences are between rising sign, moon sign, and sun sign. And there's obviously always going to be disputes because we all think differently and you can't, communication is always going to have problems because everyone has a different idea of what a word means. Everyone has a different perception of other people. You know, people might have a negative perception on a specific placement, either based on their own genuine, um, heartfelt reality, or it could be just based on some one situation in which one person upset them. But to me, astrology is an objective science, an, obje an objective art. And, you know, you could, you can use intuition, which to me is more correlated with water and fire energy. And then you could use logic and, and practicality. And that's to me associated with air and earth. For me, I've definitely probably been using quite a lot of my air and earth energy. And it's quite obvious in how I speak, how, how I believe in astrology. I say, I've seen it. You have to believe it. That's an earth sign thing. I'm a Capricorn. It, my Capricorn energy probably relates to why I'm telling people to you know, restrict themselves from saying the wrong information. Make sure you know what you're, you're, you're putting online. Make sure you're, you're thinking about things. I'm not telling people to feel bad about what they're doing. You'll enjoy astrology more once you observe everyone around you and communicate the correct information that is true to what you believe. Once you actually connect with astrology, you will connect with in your own way. And then you'll get to a point where like, I know this placement really well. I know how it relates, whether it's trying this other placement.